Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the best foundations, my ride or die foundations plus drugstore dupes. So basically whatever you're looking for, whether it's light coverage, full coverage, glowy foundations, matte foundations, I have you covered in this video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first foundation that I wanna tell you guys about is this one from Makeup Forever. It's the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. This is actually the newest of the bunch of foundations that I'm gonna tell you guys about, but it is so good. I'm telling you guys, I have never received so many compliments on my skin as when I'm wearing this foundation, just because it makes your face look almost poreless. This is actually the one that I'm wearing today, and I just love the coverage that it has. It's a nice matte foundation, but it doesn't feel thick, and you can actually build it up and layer it if you want even more coverage. I would definitely say, again, that it's already full coverage, but if you just need that extra bit more like smoothed out skin looking. Um, if you're having a breakout or something, this is a great matte foundation to use. I've already recommended it to so many of my friends and family and um, everybody loves it just because it's lightweight, it's matte, but it's not drying and it has amazing coverage. Like I remember the first time I wore this, um, I actually went to an event with my friend Amber and Amber, literally looked at my face and she could not believe like how smooth my skin looked. She kept saying that it looked like face tuned, like my face was face tuned in real life. And I was just like, it's the foundation. So she literally went right after that with her sister and like went and bought this foundation. But it is a really, really bomb foundation. On top of that, it lasts for a really long time. Like I've worn this all day long at times and it still stays on your face. Whatever and ever and ever. Then my drugstore dupe for this foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. You guys have heard me talk about this a bunch of times over the past couple of years, just because it really is a good foundation as well. It does have that same matte finish, but it's not drying, it has nice coverage. I will say that this one is has slightly more coverage, but it definitely has the same finish of that matte finish that's still comfortable and soft on the skin. So I'm gonna swatch this one right next to it. And the shades that I have, um, I wanted to mention the shade names just because if you guys are around my sh same skin tone, you can kind of like, go off of the same shades. So in the Makeup Forever foundation, I wear Y405, and then the L'Oreal foundation, I wear 108 Caramel Beige. The L'Oreal one is slightly lighter, but they do have the same undertone, and I think that's really important when you're looking for foundations to look for the right undertone. So these both have a great undertone for my skin. For some reason, my hands are so much lighter than like my shoulders even, so it may look a little bit crazy on my hand just because it's so light. But um, nice undertones, they both have great finishes. They both wear for a really long time. They actually both claim to wear for 24 hours. So both of these claim to be 24 hour foundations. I personally have not tried out either of these foundations for the full 24 hours, but I can say that they do last a really long time on the skin. They look good at the end of the day. And because they have that soft matte finish, you don't get like oily uh, spots in the T-zone or around the nose or the cheeks or wherever you get oily. I personally do not get oily with these foundations. So if you're looking for a matte foundation that's comfortable to wear, that is long wearing, go for one of these. They're both amazing. Next up, you guys know I've talked about this foundation a million times, so it has to be in my like ride or die foundations for this video. Um, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It is amazing, you guys, like amazing. If you're looking for something that's gonna have that natural finish that's on the radiant side, this is the one that I will recommend, do or die. It is, oh, just even thinking about it, it just makes me so happy because it's such a good foundation. The main things that I love about this is that it is medium to full coverage, definitely buildable. You can do two layers and it doesn't look cakey at all. It has the prettiest natural finish. So I wouldn't really say that this is like a super glowy foundation. It doesn't make you look oily, but it's also not super matte. It just almost has like a natural sheen to it. You know what I'm trying to say? It is beautiful on the skin. Plus this particular shade, which is the shade Barcelona, is my, like, it's such a good match for me. So I love it for that. Um, and on top of that, it is really long wearing. This one I actually have accidentally tested for like almost 24 hours because I wore it all day one day. I fell asleep, woke up the next morning, overslept, had to get on a flight, and it still lasted throughout the next day because I went straight to the office and had like a meeting. 
and it was still on and nobody could tell that it was from yesterday, like the day before, which was kind of insane. But I really do think that this has amazing wearing time, medium to full coverage, very buildable, and it just has such a beautiful, natural, finish. If you are looking for a drugstore alternative, then I would recommend the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This one is um, nice because it has a similar consistency. It has a similar thickness. Again, it's very medium to full coverage. The only thing that I would say is slightly off on the Physicians Formula Foundation is the wear time. I do definitely think that the NARS one um, has a little bit of a longer wear time. I mean, I slept in it, woke up the next day, went to a meeting and um, it was still on my face. So this one definitely has a longer wear time, but if you are just wearing it on an everyday basis, I definitely think that this is comparable and the most comparable finish. The undertone of the NARS foundation works a little bit better for my skin tone, but I will say that they're pretty similar. They're lightweight, they're buildable, medium to full coverage, have that nice natural finish to them. So I think that that is the best comparison that I could make if I were looking for a dupe for this, but you guys know I love, live, breathe, and die for this. So I don't know if I could like ever stop using it, honestly. And if you can, if you can like save up money and splurge on this one, I really recommend it because it is amazing, like incredible. Moving on to a BB cream. I did want to throw in a BB cream in here just because Sometimes, you know, you don't want the full coverage, full glam sort of look. So I would recommend these two guys. This is an exact dupe, so I'm really, really excited. But let me start with, with whew, let me start with the high-end version. So this is the Herborean Korean Skincare Therapy CC Cream. Again, something that I've talked about for months and months and months. Um, I did really try to keep the actual products that I'm talking about, two things that I really do use, that I love, that I consider my ride or die favorites that I could not live without, and this definitely is one of them. So I've shown this before, but this CC cream is white when you apply it, and then as you blend it in, or as I blend it in, it actually starts to like melt into my skin tone. And this is something that I always found super unique and I just love the finish of it because it's a super natural finish. It just blends right into your skin and it gives you that light coverage that you want from a CC cream on days when like you're not wearing as much makeup, when you're not wearing full makeup. But I found the perfect drugstore dupe. So this is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the shade Medium. And again, it does the exact same thing where it comes out white and as you blend it in, it actually changes color to melt into the skin. The only big difference that I see is that the Herborean CC Cream does have SPF 25, whereas the L'Oreal BB Cream does not have any SPF. So if you were looking for something with SPF, then the CC Cream from Herborean might be a better option. But other than that, they are very, very similar in the way that they look on the skin, in the way that they blend out. Um, the L'Oreal is a little bit lighter of a formula. I definitely feel like Herborean is slightly thicker. This one actually comes in more shades than this one. This They have four shades of this and only two shades of this one. So if um, if you're looking for a better match maybe that can blend into your skin tone better, then check out some of the other shades they have as well. But I really do feel like both of these really perfect the skin. They provide light coverage. They provide breathable coverage that you don't have to wear a bunch of other makeup with. And they just make your natural skin look even smooth, brightened. I love it. I love both of these and I'm really, really excited that I was able to find a dupe. Okay, the Too Faced Born This Way. The main things that I like about this particular foundation is that it does have that same sort of soft matte finish. It's a little bit more on the natural side and this one does not stay super matte all day. Um, it starts to look just like skin, I would say. It, it almost like forms to your skin as you wear it throughout the day. And it's definitely one that I uh, gravitate towards when I know I'm gonna be taking photos because it looks amazing in photos. It has medium to full coverage, it is buildable, and it lasts for a reasonably good amount of time. And they just came out with a bunch of new shades. This is just a great basic foundation that will work for so many people. And I think mean, that's the beauty of this, is that it does work for so many people, it works for so many occasions, and it looks amazing in photos. But, I found you guys a dupe. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte 
made. Both of these are comfort matte formulas. They both have a similar finish in that they are on the matte side, but they're not super dry. On top of that, both of these are oil free. So if you do have super oily skin and you don't want, like to put more oils on top of your skin, both of these or either of these would be a great option for you. And I find that these shades are pretty similar um, as far as the undertones go. They're both oil free. They have a natural soft matte finish and it's a great base foundation, especially now that actually both of these come in a ton of shades. And for this drugstore foundation, this is probably one of the best drugstore foundation shade ranges that I've ever seen. Um, they came out with, I, I'm not sure the exact number, but I think close to 40 shades. So there's a ton of shades of this foundation. There's now um, 35 shades of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So because both of these have an amazing shade range, I think that's really awesome because you can find your perfect match or close to your perfect match um, in one of these, depending on which one you go with. But again, they both have a great shade range, which I think is awesome. And that was just a coincidence actually like that didn't really um I guess play a role in why I thought that these were dupes you know I thought that they were dupes more so because of the formula but I just think that it's an extra benefit that now they both have a ton of shades okay next up are my heavy duty foundations. so these are both high-end foundations that I wanted to mention I do have a drugstore dupe for them but I did want to mention them together because like I said these are like the heaviest 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 duty that I have that I use um, because they're full coverage they wear for a super long time this Urban Decay one is actually waterproof so if you don't know what this is it's the Urban Decay all-nighter waterproof longwear liquid foundation amazing foundation especially like for for the summer times when you're gonna be out all day in the sun or at the water, um, at the beach, at the pool, anywhere near water, this is an amazing foundation because it is waterproof. But on top of that, it is like an armor for your skin. Like nothing is getting past it. Um, if I know I'm gonna be sweating a lot, this is the foundation that I choose just because it does have that super, I don't wanna say thick because I feel like thick has like a negative connotation, but it has a really full coverage. That's how I'm gonna word it. Full coverage foundation, full, 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 full coverage. Um, and it just, like, I'm telling you guys, when I know that I'm gonna be like out all day, this is the foundation that I choose because it just lasts so well. It's a thicker cream formula and it has a great undertone. And then the other one, I kind of debated if I should mention both of these, but I did really want to tell you guys all about like my ride or die foundations that I can't live without. So I did decide to mention um, both of them anyways, even though I would put these in the same category as like my full coverage matte armor foundations. So the um, the other one that I want to mention is the Lancome Tawny Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This one wears up to 24 hours. I wear the shade uh, 410 Bisque W. And again, it's just like an armor for your face. So you can see this one is a little bit lighter than my Urban Decay one, but this one oxidizes. So this one does have sunscreen in it. So again, it's a great one to wear when you're gonna be in the sun, but you have to keep in mind that it is gonna oxidize and change colors slightly. Um, so I, I don't wear this one actually with when I know that I'm gonna be doing flash photography because it has sunscreen in it so it does give a little bit of flashback but for those times I have this one so that's why I wanted to mention both of these even though I would categorize them as similar foundations I do think that they have different purposes and there are different occasions where I decide to wear one or the other both of them have great wear time both of them have great coverage super full coverage if you ever have a breakout one of these will be your best friend. This is kinda, I don't know, this this may sound weird, but I'm a hugger, okay? So I give like really like tight hugs. You know when you hug somebody and like your makeup may get on their shirt? Am I the only person that this happens to? I, I must not be the only person, but my makeup always gets on people's shirts when I hug them. Um, but with these, less makeup gets on them. Only the powder, but like the liquid doesn't rub off. 
so they're transfer resistant. So that's a good sign. And then the drugstore equivalent that I would say that's most similar to these foundations is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Again, this is a 24 hour foundation. All of these claim to be 24 hours actually. So again, like I said, 24 hour wear time, super nice full coverage, but you're getting it at a drugstore price. I'm gonna swatch all of them right next to each other so that you guys could see the difference. This one is the um, Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade seven. Then we have the Lancome foundation in the shade 410 W Bisque. And finally the um, Superstay full coverage foundation from Maybelline in 310 Sun Beige. So these are the three shades that are the closest to my skin tone in these foundations. They don't have the exact same undertone actually, but I feel like you could still make this work, or at least I make it work um, with you know concealer, bronzer, everything like that. But the thing that you want to look at is actually the formula. So the formula of these are all super similar. They all have amazing wear time. They all claim to be 24 hours actually. And um, in general, they just have that full coverage effect that just makes your skin look like a doll's skin almost when you know you're gonna be wearing your makeup all day long. These are the three foundations that I would suggest wearing. The Maybelline one is kind of like the best of both worlds to me because obviously you're um, saving money, but on top of that, it does not have flashback to it. It does last a long time. It's full coverage. It will again make your skin look super duper smooth and flawless looking, but you're not spending the big bucks on it. So if you don't want to, then you don't have to to get that same effect. But again, I love all three of these. Ooh, I love finding, I love being able to find dupes for you guys so that you guys can really see these um, products all lined up, see my favorite ride or die products, but also um, hopefully find some like good affordable options as well. I have two more foundations to talk about. Honestly, I wouldn't really say that these are dupes for each other, but I did wanna tell you guys about both of them because they're just ride or die products for me and ride or die foundations. So like, I can't not mention them in this video, you know what I mean? And the first is the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. This has been a ride or die foundation for me for years now. It's something that I always go back to. It looks amazing in photos. It wears really nicely throughout the day. It has medium to full buildable coverage and it's just everything to me, everything. I kind of teeter totter depending on how tan I am between NC35 and NC40. Those are like the two shades that I typically use. This one is NC35 because I'm a little more on my my pale side right now. But it's just an overall amazing foundation. This definitely has like a bit of a cream finish to it. It works for almost every skin type, whether you have oily skin, dry skin, normal skin, this foundation will probably work for you and it has amazing coverage. Like it looks like skin, it's breathable, it's wearable, but it still gives you that flawless look. And like I said, this has just been a ride or die foundation for me for Ever for so long and no matter how many new releases there are, no matter how many new foundations come out, I always feel like this is one that has my back, you know, like that I can always turn back to and use and love and feel confident in my skin that day. So love this. And of course we have to talk about Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. There's no dupe for this because obviously it's already drugstore, but it is just Amazing, like you, did you really think that I was gonna go this entire video without mentioning this foundation? This has been a ride or die for me for, again, years. So I have to mention it. Um, again, similar to the MAC, I just feel like no matter what new foundations come out, I can always go back to this one and know that like, I'm gonna feel good about my skin when I wear it. I've talked about this so many times, but I'll uh, do a little recap for you, those of you who haven't watched my videos before, who haven't you know, seen me using this. This actually has the perfect undertone for my skin tone. You can see it's olivey and it still has that almost like brown undertone, so it looks nice with a tan. This is in the shade 228 Soft Tan. It's the only shade that I use. It honestly can work when I have a tan going, but it can also work like for me right now when I'm more pale. This foundation shade is probably the best foundation shade I have ever tried out of any high-end or drugstore foundation. This is probably the best match that I've ever used just because of that undertone. So it has a beautiful, beautiful undertone to it. And on top of that, it just looks so good on the skin. It's called the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I personally wouldn't say that it's like super matte, but it has that nice natural finish to it again. 
definitely blurs out the pores, just makes everything look smooth and nice and beautiful. And this is another foundation that whenever I wear it, people really compliment my skin and ask me what I'm wearing. And like almost everybody is shocked when I say it's Maybelline just because it looks so smooth and flawless on the skin that people think that you're like spending, you know, tons and tons and tons of money on it but really it's just available at your local drugstore. And again, this one definitely does work for multiple skin types. I've recommended it to friends and family who have dry skin. I personally have oily skin. It works for me. It lasts all day long. It has a super nice finish to it. Natural matte, I would say. Great undertone. And overall it just works. Like. It's just such a go-to foundation that you know will never let you down. I honestly really just wanted to do a video on like my ride or die foundations, but then I thought that it'd be super helpful to give you guys some drugstore options um, that could help you achieve the same finish and the same sort of look, but for a more affordable price. So hopefully this does help you guys out and hopefully you find your ride or die foundation. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> yeah, rewind.